So, Microsoft announced a couple of new aggregation functions last week, and these are certainly something to get excited about. The first is Group By. Here we have some sales data, and we want to return the sales by product category. In the first argument, reference the whole product category column, including the header. In the second, do the same for the total amount column. The next argument gives us a list of familiar functions. We want to add up the figures, so we'll go with SUM. There's the result. It's found three unique values in the product category column and summed the total amount values belonging to each, as well as including the default total row. So far, we've used the three compulsory arguments. The first optional one is for field headers. Let's use three for that. It seems like there's a bug here because it's only displaying one of the headers. If I change this reference to include the adjacent column, they all appear. I'm sure that will get sorted out though. We can switch the total row off, but we'll skip that. We can specify the column we want to sort by, so column 2 for total amount. It is sorted in ascending order though, when we want it descending. To do that, put a minus in front of the number. The final argument allows us to include a filter condition. Say we want to see the data without the electronics category. We can reference the product category column again, use the not equal to operator followed by the string electronics, and that removes it. Pivot by is very similar to group by, except it allows us to group by column as well. So this time, let's reference the customer ID column in the row fields argument, product category in col fields, total amount in values, and finish off with sum. Of course, we could go further, but the optional arguments are very similar to group buys. So we'll confirm the formula, and there is our pivot table showing how much customers have spent on each product category. Unlike regular pivot tables, which you have to right click on and select refresh to update them, the best thing about these functions is they are dynamic. Make a change in the source data, and the other will update automatically. There we go. These functions will give us a lot of flexibility going forward, but it's worth noting they are only available to Microsoft 365 insiders on the beta channel at the moment, but it's worth getting ready for when they hit the production version.